Lock Tithe Gate update. Y'all, it's getting weird. I, and look, yeah, it's Greg Lock, so it's just weird. It's always weird. But for those that do not know what's going on, I will catch you up to speed. Last Sunday, Greg Lock decided to say this from the pulpit. If you think we abscond with money, then we can look up your giving record and I'll give it all back to you tomorrow, no matter how much you've ever given to this church. You can have it. Then somebody took him up on that and they emailed this. Uh, then his attorneys responded with this. Saying, uh, he never said anything like that. What are you, are, are you kidding me? Uh, no. And stop bothering us. So somebody else that used to go there, in fact, somebody that used to be a donating member, who's also an attorney, decided to reach out to their attorneys and said, hey, hi, how are you? I'd like my money back too. And those attorneys did not respond to that person. Instead, they decided to go to the first person who asked for the money back. Claiming that they were getting threatening phone calls. Y'all, I, I haven't heard the phone calls or the voicemails, so I cannot speak to whether or not they are threatening. However, what I can say is this is from one attorney to another, so one could infer that they would just, I don't know, do the common courtesy of leaving a professional voicemail. But again, I do not know. What I do know is this, Greg Locke is very confident that tonight is going to be a fantastic service, so much so that he decided to post on his social media yet again of how excited he is for his midweek service, to which people are responding in droves saying, I would like my money. Where's my money? Please give me my money. I don't think this is going away anytime soon for you, Mr. Locke. You should probably consider giving the refunds that you told people from your pulpit, not once, but twice, that you would issue to them. Because when you stand up as a man of God, as a man of high character, and you promise people something, they are going to have the expectation that you follow through with that promise, especially if you claim to be the upstanding, high quality man of God that you say you are. I think it's time to get out your checkbook. Hey, we do a lot for people. I can show you. I, I preached yesterday to 10,000 people on generosity. Now, I'm not going to live under some kind of spirit of poverty just because you mad about somebody else's money. I'm, I'm done with it.